Hello, in this lesson we are going to cover what a mining pool is. So is it just a pool that a bunch of miners sit in and just talk about mining? No, it is not that. It's, it's not a physical pool at all. As we already know, if you haven't watched the what is mining video, feel free to check that out and then come back here. If you have and you're already aware what mining is, then you'll know Mining is the process process of very fine transaction. Nothing more to it than that it uses mathematical algorithms which are you to verify the transaction, but the whole aim is just to verify the transaction. That's it. And also as you know, the Bitcoin network automatically increases the mining difficulty depending on how often it is occurring and how often coins are being produced. It just ensures that. Mm, not too many coins get produced at any given time. So so that's all good. So it's getting more and more difficult. We already know that. That's fantastic. Also, as you are aware, initially CPUs were sufficient for mining Bitcoin. They were more than enough for solving the problems, but as the difficulty increased, miners soon turned to GPUs and they were, they were great, a lot more efficient than CPUs in the mining process, but they had two main flaws. One, they ran very hot, and two, they weren't very weren't very energy efficient. So they cost users a lot of money and that's just to actually run them if users were actually building which they were and they still do building systems specifically designed for mining they had to also factor in that cost and a lot of the time it wasn't cost effective to do it at least not at the the price that it originally used to be obviously at considering the price is over five thousand dollars they were mining it when it was ten dollars or a hundred dollars or even a thousand dollars it would have paid off for them. Then eventually came something called a ASIC card which is just it stands for application specific integrated circuit chips and they are specific processors designed for mining Bitcoin. They are very fast, a lot faster than GPUs and very efficient. But ultimately the same problem is occurring for miners. The difficulty is going up. As more of it occurs, the difficulty increases. So you can either A, buy more hardware, buy more powerful hardware, but even then it is becoming very difficult just to be able to get into it. So the barrier for entry from a cost perspective is very high now to effectively mine Bitcoin because you still could do it on a processor but it would just be inefficient and there'll be no need. There'll be the, the, there will be no reason for you to do it. But, but even with ASIC cards, the barrier to entry isn't like $10. It can be hundreds or even thousands or even tens of thousands of dollars to do it effectively. So what miners have done, they've created groups they have created groups where miners collectively collectively share resources to mine slash solve problems. at a faster 
rate. So you can be part of a mining pool, have hardware that isn't, let's say, top of the end, but still be effective because you're part of a bigger pool that is able to solve the problems a lot quicker and it's a lot more effective because you could use just regular hardware, hardware that you've already got, but it can actually do something worthwhile now in terms of mining. You might be thinking how are the Bitcoins that are generated split between the miners? They're not evenly split, which they shouldn't be. The coins are rewarded and split according to an individual miner's contribution. So if, for example, I create a pool and there's Bob, there's me, and then there's, let's just say you, it could be whatever, your name could be whatever. If Bob is contributing 25% of the resources, I'm contributing five, <laughs> I'm not contributing a lot at all, and you're contributing 70%. If all of our efforts was generating 100 Bitcoin using basic mathematics, Bob would get 25 coins, I or me would get 5 coins, and you would get the biggest chunk at 70 coins. Trust me, 70 coins, if you got that now, you'll be a happy bunny, considering it's over five thousand dollars that is over three hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of coins i'm just getting excited thinking about 70 bitcoin so that is what a mining pool is nothing more to it than that it's just a collection of miners helping each other to mine coins faster if you have any questions or any queries regarding the concepts covered in this lesson feel free to go over the video again Feel free to go over it as many times as you want to and feel free to pop me a message because I'll help out if you have any questions and as usual thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next lesson.